Today we're going to add a second layer to this watercolor painting that we started last week. And I'm going to get everything that I need set up here. So um, I have a set of watercolors. I've got a messy mat underneath so that when I need to pick my paper up, it will be really wet. I can just pick these sides up with my thumb on either side and take it to the drying rack. Next, I have a paper towel so I can blot my brush out and I have a cup of water and I have a smaller brush because I want to do some detail work. Alright, so I did the wash last time. I have a little salt that I can just kind of brush away and you can see that the salt has created this little effect down here where it's kind of gotten some areas that the spots were soaked up by the salt and I kind of liked that effect. I did that also in here. It kind of gives it almost like freckles. So now I want to give this animal um, like almost like a ringed lemur tail. So I'm going to get my brush a little bit wet and then I'll go in and just add a little water to this. I'm going to put a brown stripe on top and I'm just going to kind of use the tip of the brush to make these hair-like strokes. And the paper is dry at this time, so I'm able to get in a lot more detail. It's always easier to darken up things a little bit later than to get it too dark at the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I've decided my light source is coming from here, so I start down on this end so the darker hair will be opposite side of where the hair or the the darker hair will be on the opposite side of where the light comes in. And if it's not dark enough here, then when it dries just a little bit, I can come back in on top. <clears throat> 